Eaton. The government of Honduras and World Bank representatives have met in the Honduran capital of Tegucigalpa. Now they met to sign deals to allow foreign companies to mine in the country. With more, here's Gerardo Torres. Foreign mining companies are present in 14 of the 18 departments in Honduras. In 2012, the government gave 487 additional mining permits, and under a new agreement with the World Bank, another 839 look to be given. However, activists are concerned that mining is destroying the country. In the Syria Valley, 21 of the 23 rivers in the municipalities of El Porvenir and San Ignacio have disappeared because of a high water demand in the mining industry, and mining has dried the soil in that area. The disappearance of the rivers is a direct result of the Entre Mares mining project of the Canadian Gold Corporation and is directly affecting local people. People have the right to water and to life. We have expressed ourselves very clearly. We are against mines because under the mining project, there are five water wells for our community, supplying water for 12,000 people. The new agreement signed with the World Bank will double the presence of international mining companies without any community consultation. This is part of President Hernandez's push for further private international companies in the country. Gerardo Torres, Telesur, Central America.